Hello everyone. This is my first video after my channel has crossed the 1000 subscribers mark. So thanks. I would like to thank everyone uh, watching this video for being a part of those 1000 subscribers. Let's start with this uh, new video the, which is on division. I have already created one video on division on abacus using the abacus. Uh, I hope you have all seen it. Some subscribers wanted some few more examples uh, to be shown for division on abacus. So here I am with four new examples. The first two examples as you can see I have written on the paper are basically three or four digit numbers divided by a single digit number. And the next two examples are for on our device with divisors having two digits. Okay, so let's see both both these uh, types. Let's start with the first example. <clears throat> it's uh, 579 divided by 4. So as we all know, the question set is used to represent the first given number. That is, this is our question set. Okay, so units, units, tens, hundreds, and thousands place for the question set. So I'll take the number 579, which is a three-digit number. So I'll start from the hundreds place here. 5 79 and then our answer set will remain this okay so this will be our units place tens place hundreds place, thousands place for the answer set okay so these four rods so we'll start with the leftmost rod on the question set which is five our divisor is four so we'll be reciting the table of four each time so the first number being five we can subtract one times four okay from this number so one time will be taken in the answer on the exactly corresponding rod so this is a hundreds place of the question set so hundreds place on the answer set will take one okay so one times four is four so we'll subtract four from this uh, five here so it will be plus one minus five and subtraction of four is done coming to the next rod that is a tens place rod the number up to this rod is 17 on the abacus okay so we'll recite the table of four get as close to 17 as possible okay so 4 times 4 is 16 as we all know so we can subtract 16 from this 17 so on the exactly corresponding tens place rod of the answer set we'll take 4 okay 4 times 4 is 16 so i'll subtract 16 from this number here 1 and 6 directly okay now moving to the next rod which is the units place of the uh, question set <clears throat> the number here is 19, 1, 9, 19. So again, we'll recite the table of 4 and again it will be 4 times 4 that is 16 which can be subtracted from this 19. So I'll take 4 on the units place of the answer set and subtract 16 from this 19 here. So 1 and 6. Now we have 3 remaining on this question set which is our remainder in this case. In the previous video that I uh, created on division, I had uh, taken all examples which were the exactly divisible numbers. In this case, I have taken absolutely random numbers. So there could be remainders in some cases, like in this one. So we have a remainder of 3 in this case. So the answer that we have is 144 with a remainder of 3. So we generally tell our students to write the answer in this form. 144 as our answer, main answer and 3 as the remainder in the bracket. Okay, So this is the form that we use to write down the answer on the workbook. Okay, Now let's move to the next example which is 6913 divided by 5. Okay, As we all can see the units place digit is uh, uh, not 5 or 0. So in this case as well we will have a remainder with us. Uh, one thing to note or inform the students is the remainder has to be less than the divisor okay when the student has to confirm that whether the remainder is smaller than the divisor or not if the remainder a student gets larger than the divisor then the answer is wrong or he has not done it completely or the division is not complete yet okay so just this one very important point that you need to tell the students is the remainder has to be smaller than the divisor Okay, like in our first example, the remainder was 3, which was smaller than four, the divisor 4. Okay, 
Now let's move to the second example. The number is 6913. So I'll start with the thousands place on the question set 6913. And the divisor is 5. The leftmost digit we have is 6. So 1 times 5 can be subtracted from this. So on the corresponding thousands place rod, I'll take 1. Subtract 5 from this question set thousands place. Okay, so 5 is uh, subtraction is done. Moving to the hundreds place, the number we have up to this rod is 19. So again, I'll recite the table of 5. Get as close to 19 as possible without crossing it, right? So 3 times 5 will be 15. 3 times 5. So 3 times I'll take on the hundreds place. That is the corresponding rod of the answer set. So I'll take 3 here and subtract 15 from this uh, 19 here. So 1 and 5 is subtracted. So 15 is done. Now moving to the next rod that is a tenths place of the question set. The number we have up to this rod is 41. Okay, so from 41 we can subtract 8 times 5 that is 40. So 8 has to be taken on the answer set. Sorry, it will be tenths place of the answer set. So tenths place of the answer set I will take 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So I will subtract 40 from this 41. So from 41 I have done subtraction of 40. Now moving to the last rod that is a units place we have the number 13 with us. So 2 times 5 which is 10 can be subtracted from this 13. So 2 times will be taken on the units place of the answer set. So 2 times is taken and subtraction of 10 from this 13 is done. So finally we again have a remainder of 3 with us. So the answer that we have for 6913 divided by 5 is 1382 and with remainder of 3 1382 and with a remainder of 3 again now let's move to the third example which have we have a two digit divisor in this case so for a divisors with two digits we, it can be done in two different ways it all depends on whether the student is comfortable with the table of the given divisor that means if the student is already uh, well aware or well uh, practiced with the table all, all multiples of 13 then he can do it directly like just in case of one digit divisor but if the student is not very comfortable with the table of 13 that is all the multiples of 13 then there is another way which I'll show you now okay please remember if the student already knows all the multiples of 13 comfortably confidently he has to proceed with the same method like in case of one digit divisor okay but in case of uh, students not being comfortable or confident with the multiples of 13 i'll show you the different method okay it is slightly longer it takes a little extra time but the answer that we get is has to be correct okay so we'll start again with in the similar fashion the question set is 805 the number will 805 on the question set now suppose uh, in this case th I'm uh, showing the method where student is not comfortable with the table of 13 so what we'll do is we'll know 1 times 13 is 13 so we'll just calculate 2 times 13 2 times 13 will be is 26 that has to be calculated beforehand and we'll write down that 26 in a small uh, font just near the divisor. So 26 I'll write here. Now we'll start with the first two digit number in the question set. Okay. So the first two digit number on the question set from the left side is 80 ending on the tens place. So on the corresponding tens place of the answer set is where we'll start. So from 80. I can subtract 2 times 13 here okay so 2 times 13 I can subtract so I'll take 2 on the answer set and subtract 26 from this 80 so 20 and for subtracting 6 I'll do plus 4 minus 10 now I still have 54 on this uh, same rod which is ending with on the tens place so still I can subtract another 26 from this so I'll take another 2 on the same tens place rod of the answer set I'll add another 2 here and subtract 26 again here so subtracting 26 I'll do plus 3 minus 5 here and for 6 subtraction of 6 I'll do plus 4 which is plus 5 minus 1 and minus 10 so plus, uh, plus 4 minus 10 is for subtraction of 6 on this rod okay so 26 subtraction is done I still have the number 28 on this 
ओके विल प्रोसीड विथ सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ वन टाइम्स और टू टाइम्स ऑफ द डिवाइजर Until this number goes below the divisor, okay? So with this number is still twenty-eight. So we can subtract another twenty-six from this. So again, I'll take add two on the same tens place rod of the answer set. So adding two here, I'll do plus five minus three. Okay, plus five minus three is for addition of two on this rod, and I'll subtract twenty-six again from this uh, number, which is twenty-eight. So twenty. Six subtraction is direct is done done now. Now the number remaining on this tens place rod is two, which is smaller than our divisor. Hence, we'll move to the next rod that is a units place rod. Now the number that we have here is twenty five. Okay, we cannot subtract twenty six from this, but we can subtract one times thirteen that is thirteen from this. So I will take one on the corresponding units place of the answer rod answer set. So I will take one here. And subtract thirteen from this twenty-five. So one, and for subtracting three here, I'll do plus two minus five. So the remainder, this will be our final remainder, and this, as you can see, is smaller than our divisor. Okay, so this is our final remainder. So the answer that we have is sixty-one with a remainder of twelve in this case. Okay, so. i'll just uh, remention the uh, rule that i told before that the remainder has to be smaller than the divisor this is something which uh, which is kind of uh, test to check whether our answer is probably right or wrong if the student gets a remainder larger than the divisor the answer is definitely wrong okay so let's move to the final example here 3812 divided by 16 so i'll take 3 8 1 2 now divisor is 16 so i'll write down 2 times 16 2 times 16 calculated is 32 so i'll write down 32 in a small font nearby okay so i have it in front of my eyes here now we'll start with the division in just as in the previous case the first two digit number from the left hand side is 38 okay so from 38 i can subtract 32 that is 2 times 16 so this number ends on the hundreds place here okay so on the hundreds place i'll take 2 and subtract 32 from this uh, 38 so 32 is done i now have 6 remaining on this rod so it is smaller than our divisor so we'll move to the next rod the next number that we have up to this tens place rod is 61 so i can subtract 32 from this for sure so i'll take 2 on the corresponding tens place rod so corresponding tens place rod i'll take 2 here And subtract 32 from this 61. So to subtract 3 on the this rod, I'll do plus 2 minus 5. And to subtract 2 on this 10 rod is I'll do plus 8 minus 10. Okay. So the first part is done. Now I, the number that I have on this rod still with me is 29. So I cannot subtract 32, but I can definitely subtract 16 from this. So one times 16 is can be subtracted from this. So again on the same tens place rod because this number is still on our tens place. Okay, so I'll, on the tens place of the answer set, I'll add one here and subtract sixteen from this twenty nine. So one and six subtraction is done. Sixteen is done. Now the number remaining here is thirteen. It is smaller than our divisor. So we'll move to the next rod. Now the number with us here is one hundred and thirty two. Okay, so I can subtract thirty two from this for sure. So this is our units place rod. So I'll uh, the answer will be taken on the units place of the answer set. So two times sixteen is thirty two. Now subtracting thirty two is direct. We can uh, it's very easy. Now we still have hundred here. So I uh, I can is definitely subtract thirty two again from this. So I'll add two on the answer set again. So add two here and again subtract thirty two from this hundred. So to add subtract thirty two I'll do. Plus seven minus ten here and plus eight minus ten here. Okay, so subtraction of thirty-two is done. I still have sixty-eight remaining, so I can subtract another thirty-two from this. So I'll add again a two on the units place of the answer set. So to add two, I'll do plus five minus three and then subtract thirty-two from this. So minus thirty and two. Okay, I still have thirty-six remaining, so I can subtract another thirty-two from this. So I'll add another two on the answer set units place. So adding two is done. So subtracting thirty two, thirty is direct. For two I'll do plus three minus five. So now we have a number that is smaller than our divisor. 
So the final answer that we have for 3812 divided by 16 is 238 with a remainder of 4. Okay, 238 with a remainder of 4. Please remember that students in higher levels in most cases are very comfortable with tables of or multiples of any two digit number they can calculate it on the spot so they can directly do the division like i had shown in case of the one digit divisor uh, example so for this this particular method that i've shown now is basically for students in maybe fourth or fifth level which are still new with division and they are not very comfortable with multiples of two digit numbers on the spot calculations so they can use this method here so one times or two times of the divisor is to be written here and they can use either of these depending on what number that they have in the question set okay and then keep subtracting it until that number goes below the divisor and then move to the next rod okay so i hope this method is uh, understood by everyone uh, please do give feedback on this I like I'll appreciate uh, positive negative all kinds of comments on this and if you think this is uh, useful to this will be useful to others as well please do share it I'll appreciate your support thank you